What's going on, everybody? It's Derek with Gaming and Chill, and today I bring to you The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I am excited to bring to you this game because it's a game I have been playing a lot. Uh, in preparation for this, I actually played and done this entire game yesterday in one sitting. So I am super excited about it. I, uh, I actually have been also running this uh, speed running, so you'll notice a couple different strats and things like that that I just do differently. Uh, but fear not, I'll explain to you what's going on. Uh, what's going on right now is an expositional dialogue dump. Blah, blah, blah. Come save me from the castle. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And we'll finally get control here in just a moment. There we go. As always, open up the first item. You get the lamp. Yay! See, I've been, like I said, I've been speed running this lately. Uh, not, not, not super successfully, but I'm getting there. I beat this yesterday, and I was like, oh, wow, I think it's been paying off. Uh, there's a couple different tricks I do that I wouldn't know unless I had been in the community, so, hey. What up, old man? Do you want to give me the sword? Alright, cool. Do you want to keep talking? Fine. Yeah, when I first played this uh, standard version, after doing all the... All the speedrunning stuff, I was like, oh wow, so much different. Because I'm used to doing a couple different things, and because the mode we play in is a lot different. So. I'm excited by this. Come on, dude. Whatever. I'm out of here, suckers! And we finally go down to get Princess Zelda. Spoiler alert. We save Zelda. Hi, nice to see you. Nice, hey. How you doing? Keep on with your job, gentlemen. Down the stairs, slowly. I like how he didn't react at first, like, huh, must have been a harsh breeze that hit me. It's like, yes, dude, a harsh breeze hit you. Always take a swing at him. Gives you that time to get away. I'm not going to be completely speedrunning this, but, uh, I'm going to try not to lollygag. I'll probably end up grabbing almost all the items. I say that because there's one item I typically skip. What, in less than 10 minutes, we'll be saved Zelda and out? Works for me! This guy can wreck you if you're not careful. If you're not careful. I want to get as many er rupees early on because of a strat. Uh, I want to not have to farm rupees later. So I'll just, you know, try to get as many early chests as I can. 
because that'll save me some time on the later date. Now, in the speedrunning community, you don't actually have to save Zelda, air quotes, because we play in a mode called Open, and, uh, well, at that point, it considers Zelda already saved. So she's just hanging out in Sanctuary going, oh, what's up? We're fine. He's the only one, really, that poses a threat, air quotes. Yes. We're going there, Zelda. Stop with your dialogue. Yes, an ornamental shelf. That's an interesting shelf, though. I mean, it's a nice decorative shelf, but I don't know. Not my style. This is a quick run through. It can be dangerous. It cannot. It just really depends upon enemy placement. Let's get out of here. Be careful. I'm always careful. Grab, defeat that rat and you get a key. This is a terrible room to try to do dark room. Because if you don't have the lamp and speed running, you have to do that dark. But thankfully the randomizer just doesn't allow that. Oh yeah, I, I do random speed runs. So all these chests so far would be random. Yes, thank you. We get out of here, and there's something special about what's in that treasure chest. And I love how they'll do this expositional dialogue jump as I'm standing in the doorway from the sewer. It's like, hey, do you think I could, you know, not have my back in the sewer? Now, it's going to mark my map. I don't need that. And if you've played uh, any Zelda game... You don't. But what's special about that uh, heart is the fact that it is the only one that will completely refill your hearts. Every other one will just add one. And we're just immediately going to go over to Eastern Palace. Normally you'd have to go to, you'd normally go to Kakariko Village, find out where he's at. But if you've played Zelda, you know where he's at. And we're actually not going to even go talk to him first because we don't have the green pendant, we don't have bombs, so walking in there blank like this is the only way to... Walking in, walking in is kind of a waste of time. <clears throat> you walk past this dude, stay back there buddy. Just over 10 minutes, and we're already in Eastern Palace. We'll be skipping some chests because you don't really need what's in them. Mainly, like, we'll be skipping compass and map and stuff like that. Well, we'll be skipping one out of the way chest. It gets egregious later. 
where it's like, alright. This isn't so much a walkthrough as it is just enjoying a retro game. If you go like this... You can basically spawn some of the enemies in the wall, which causes a them not to actually spawn. There's the compass. Hi, Igor. Bye, Igor. Yep, we're gonna bypass the big big chest because, well, we can't get it yet. We can only come down here. Killing those two enemies is a cool strat, not required. We're entering this room next. It's pretty fun. Um, you can do it the speed run strat, which takes a lot of hearts, or it can take a lot of damage, or you can just do this strat. And it releases them, so you can just step on the switch without taking damage. I prefer that strat to anything because, well, it's just safer. It takes a couple extra seconds, but you're not getting bodied by a bunch of enemies. And we get... Dubbo. Hey guys, don't lose your heads. You want to switch to your bow, Mr. Igor. Gosh, why was it so hard to wake you up? Yeah, those things hurt like a truck. Lost a heart, getting a heart. Not a good trade-off. Two heart, two arrows will take these guys out. heart quick kill get some extra arrows that'll do because we're at our first boss quick we'll be killing this boss a lot faster later and for the green pendant and that'll actually do that for the first episode of link to the past as we warp on out of here boom Thank you so much for joining me, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more gaming. Have a good one.